Former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was released from the Sharia Tzedek Medical Center in Jerusalem on Thursday morning after being kept overnight for observation. Netanyahu, who was hospitalized Wednesday evening after feeling unwell and reportedly fainting during Yom Kippur's services in a Jerusalem synagogue. In a statement from his office Thursday morning, it was said that the former Prime Minister underwent a series of tests on site that came out as normal and that he was feeling well, adding that he was also already back out on his morning walk. Netanyahu, who is 72 years old, also thanked the dedicated medical staff at the hospital. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Yair Lapid wished his political rival a swift and complete recovery in a tweet sent out Wednesday night. Lapid was joined by other politicians, both from within the coalition and from Netanyahu's bloc, in wishing the opposition leader good health. Meanwhile, according to the Magen David Adom, 2,741 people were also treated over Yom Kippur with three people seriously injured on the roads, and some 270 people treated for dehydration or fainting. On Wednesday, Jews around the world marked Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the Jewish year. In Israel, this is a day of atonement, where the country essentially shuts down, as religious Jews fast and pray, while secular Jews take to the streets on bicycles. Hi everyone, it's Emmanuel Kadosh. I wanted to invite you all to subscribe to ILTV Plus, where you can find our daily news and updates about Israel. And not only that, but live feeds, entertainment, our kosher food show, and so much more. Needless to say, your subscription to ILTV Plus helps us grow and create more content while also supporting the state of Israel. Our app is available on all platforms and devices, so I'll see you guys there.